I'm Adrienne LaFrance Wells. I work for the City of West Monroe as the Main Street Director for Downtown. Hi, and I'm Stacey Albert Mitchell. I am the Mayor here in the City of West Monroe. So uh, we have two cultural districts in the City of West Monroe. We have the West Monroe Cultural District, uh, which is in the downtown area, and then we have the South Riverfront Cultural District. Uh, and the West Monroe Cultural District was recently expanded uh, to include all of Trenton Street and some of the historic homes. So the West Monroe Cultural District was formed by uh, Mayor Norris's administration. It was a way to give um, financial incentives to encourage people to invest in downtown. And this really took off um, a few years later when a group of people, a group of leaders formed uh, Downtown West Monroe Revitalization Group and they were able to do cultural events and raise money for these type of events. And we think projects that were done were redoing the Coca-Cola murals downtown, doing the medallions in the streets, which all go back to our heritage and to the history of West Monroe. We've um, had public space created downtown with the Alley Park, and all of these events have created the atmosphere in the business and created even more want and desire to reinvest into properties in downtown West Monroe. Downtown West Monroe, you know, was very busy for many years, and then just with natural decline, as we saw things go towards malls and, and shopping strips, centers, if you would, you know, it did decline. But now because of the investment made in the downtown area, in the cultural district, because of the incentives that come from the cultural district, we are seeing that you know, blossom again. In fact, there's been over $10 million in private investment just in downtown West Monroe in the last three and a half years. We're now a National Register of Historic District. We are a Louisiana Main Street community. And all of those are tools in which make the downtown revitalization happen. It's what makes it so important. Some of the first projects are really the, one of the biggest and the most recent project downtown using in the cultural district, the tax incentives, was the renovation of the Hatchell Building. And it is a cornerstone there in West Monroe. It was um, built in the early 1900s and has been renovated back to 1937. But it has retail space on the bottom, five spaces, and then it has six residential lots upstairs, lofts upstairs. Um, it's, very successful, it's doing very well, it stays rented and, and, and it's just a good addition to downtown. Another very important resource uh, that runs adjacent to the cultural district is the Washita River. Uh, we're looking at ways that we can better utilize the Washita River and uh, get our citizens out enjoying the river. Um, Lazar Park is a great place for people to put boats in. We uh, recently uh, added a, a soft kayak launch mm -hmm. in Lazar Park. Uh, we're looking at trails and such that we can connect the cultural district areas. And then the city of West Monroe recently purchased a lot near down, in the downtown area uh, for a river development area that will include a courtesy marina, a fishing pier, and uh, other phases to the project. So uh, our Washita River is a beautiful natural resource and very important to the activities in all of our cultural districts. Well, things that we have seen happen because of the cultural district, um, definitely increased activity. The Downtown West Monroe Revitalization Group is very, very active. That is, has spurred more activity. Things, you know, that have been done down there, like Washita Live Concerts, that's a Chamber of Commerce sponsored project. We've had um, art groups come and do things with the Spring Arts Festival. Public, as I said earlier, Alley Park was formed, which is public space, and there's constantly someone wanting to use that space, whether it's a private type um, rental or a nonprofit wanting to use it for their needs. Adrian is constantly having markets and just different art exhibits and things in that area. So it's really a, it's a true uh, area for culture. Absolutely. And uh, when looking at future spaces in the cultural district, looking at those uh, community gathering spaces for people to come, 
uh, and really celebrate who we are as a community, uh, celebrate our history. That's really what cultural districts are all about. Um, we talked about the Hatchell Building earlier. That project would not have been feasible had it not been for the historic tax credits uh, that are part of the Louisiana Cultural District Program. So uh, we just really want to see the momentum that has happened in the downtown district to uh, spread to the adjacent neighborhoods and uh, additional cultural district expansion. Um, it's so important to encourage that private investment and it's really a, one of the best tools around uh, to make that happen. And uh, something that we're excited that we're going to get to announce um, is that the Arts Council, the Northeast Louisiana Arts Council, is actually going to locate in downtown West Monroe. For decades, the City of West Monroe has provided space for them here at City Hall and now that we have, have all of the interest and the activities and the investment going in downtown, they need more space. They want to be a part of the downtown. It's another um, arm, if you would, of economic development. And so we're excited that we're going to have, the, we're going to house the Northeast Louisiana Arts Council in downtown West Monroe. Um, Adrian, you want to tell them about our art project? Sure. Mm -hmm. We also recently added a downtown public painted piano mm -hmm. in the downtown district. Mm -hmm. So uh, that piano was painted by Ryan Emery Taylor, a local artist here and photographer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recently held a dedication in Alley Park. Mm -hmm. And everyone can, uh, when it's pretty weather outside, you can go and find the piano and play the piano. <laughs> it's open to anyone. You don't have to be a virtuoso to play. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful and fun project. Yeah. And we're hoping to add uh, additional projects like that in the future. So the Downtown West Monroe Revitalization Group, in uh, conjunction with the City of West Monroe, is having a capital campaign because there's many, many projects and things that are wanted to, wanting to be done downtown and just not enough tax dollars to do it. And so far, it has been very, very well received. We have raised enough money for the marina that we will have the courtesy boat slip marina that will be on the riverfront development and all completely paid for with private funds and we still have um, over a million dollars pledge that we will be putting towards other projects in downtown. We have signs up where people can you know, give to the Downtown Western Revitalization Group, which is who kind of handles all these activities and does a lot of the scheduling along with Adrian. And it's really gotten the community to come together and back something with private money versus always waiting on the government or depending on tax dollars. And we're just very pleased with the success of the campaign. It's not complete yet. We're still we're still raising money. So if you are interested, there is a way that you can give. I'll be happy to tell you about that. But we have um, it's 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 great great success, and we're looking forward to all the projects that we're going to be able to do uh, because of that campaign. Mm -hmm.